What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Before I start on the video, just to let you know in the background is a highlight reel montage of my Iron Banner fund. Basically, I was going for Salvation Salvo, so a lot of the time I was using Wither Horde, which, by the way, is a lot of fun to use in PvP, just make sure your mods are set up right. It's very satisfying launching the Splooge of Doom and watching in silence as the shotgun ape straight lines me, ignoring said Splooge and dying three seconds later. But, I digress. Today's video is having a discussion, admittedly, a week late now, but still having the discussion surrounding recent update announcements for Destiny moving forwards. So the first thing I want to talk about is sunsetting of sunsetting. In Season 11, infusion caps were introduced, and this was done to try and force a change in the meta and to make the Destiny community move onto different weapons and slash armor. Finally, Bungie have admitted that this was a mistake, as it makes that god roll you worked your ass off for have a sell-by date. God knows I miss my trust that has the range master work with small bore, accurized rounds, rampage, dragonfly. <sighs> Hashtag side face. So from season 14, there won't be any capping of levels and you will be able to infuse to max on weapons and armor that were not max from the start of season 13. This is a success and I'm glad Bungie listened. The main issue I have is that you still need to grind for the god roll again, which I don't know if that's good or a bad thing. I, I don't know, we complain there's no content. Second thing I want to discuss, change of light level cap. Originally, at the start of each season, the power cap level was raised by 50. The issue of this is when the season restarted again, it did feel like you were massively reset. So the experiment will be raising the cap level by 10 for each non-expansion season. Basically, it will be a really good idea to grind the crap out of the game to reach the power level cap because if you do, you will be in the 10 point pinnacle band from the start of the next season. My only issue with this is that the add-on content of expansions tends to be over quick, so light level grind is the thing that keeps us coming back to a degree, and making that aspect easier might make the game stale quicker. I'm not sure. Next thing we're going to talk about, the third thing, the elephant in the room, PvP. Bungie have finally admitted that the message that they have been giving out about PvP has been neither consistent or right. We can all agree that PvP has been left in a dark place for a long time now, and unless you're a top tier player like Frostbolt or ZK or Glad or Grenada Jake, it's just an unbalanced mess, and it is actually for them as well, that's so unrewarding and rage inducing to play. Bungie are going with three major updates to PvP, but from season 15, which is a little disappointing to say the least. So, three peaking will know. Be no more. Hurrah, I hear you say, but wait, it will only be in trials and competitive that they are disabling this, and emotes also, but again, as I said, it's a competitive thing. Which is good, because we all love a good emote when you outplay somebody. To be fair, having watched a lot of comp on YouTube and Twitch, I will say that 3Peaking is a problem that needs addressing, but not nearly as much as the cheating that goes on. God help us when crossplay arrives. For the love of all that is holy, please, 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 Bungie, add an anti-cheat. To their credit, Bungie have actively said that they are expanding their security team to reflect the commitment to fair play, and that they are aggressively seeking legal action against the makers and developers of cheats. Next, we have, drumroll please, with a bugle. Stasis adjustments, yeah! But the weird part about this is that they're doing it over several seasons, which makes no sense at all to me. A lot of this needs sorting now. But what ifs here are the changes to come. So, Behemoth Titan, decrease super damage reduction, increase super energy cost when performing light attacks, remove freeze AoE on supercast, and reduce traveling. Efficient, 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 efficacy, I can never pronounce the word, of Shiver Strike when slowed. Revenant Hunter, it's going to be decreasing withering blade damage and tracking. It's not the worst in the world, really, to be honest with you. Decrease slow stacks applied to targets, remove shatter drive damage reduction. And then for the Shade Binder Warlock, we're going with a Fixed Bug, where Ice Flare Bolts wouldn't track towards targets immediately on creation. Fixed Bug, where Shade Binder Super, super Projectiles were not tracking until a certain distance was travelled. And then, in general, they're decreasing Crystal Shatter damage. 
The third thing that they want to look at overall is weapon archetype performance and introduce new perks, again in an attempt to shift the meta in Crucible to try and keep playing PvP fresh. Felwinter's crutch users, I am looking at you here. I still see no details on adding any new maps for PvP, which is a massive bummer. We really need some new map content, in my honest opinion. It's... <sighs> It's just annoying. I just wish they were putting new maps. I've talked about this loads before. So, Vault of Glass is returning in Season 14. I'm excited about this. To get the ball rolling, there'll be a contest mode with a world first race. Bungie are hinting at some slight tweaks and triumphs to be included, suggesting there may be some additions when it launches. There will also be a master version of Vault of Glass added before the end of the year. I genuinely can't wait for this. I just want my fate bringer back. Also, Ada One is coming back. She's going to be um, a universal ornament provider. And Ikora's coming back, pretty much because she's been useless for the rest of time. No, she's she, apparently she plays a big role in the next season. Uh, and finally, in season 15, there will be addition of legendary stasis, energy, and power weapons. Please just let them be new weapons. Pretty please. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. This is slightly different format for me i'm not big on this news kind of stuff or reporting on it but i figured i would give it a nice edit together and talk about the game i love that's going to do it for this one guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to click the like button if you're new to the channel please also don't forget to subscribe and we're out of here peace